Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a recent report uh, by Tom's Hardware is showing that BitLocker, which as many of you will know is a security feature of Windows 11, is reducing the performance of SSDs by up to as much as 45%. And Windows 11 Pro, as many of you will also know, um, with Windows 11 Pro, BitLocker is enabled by default uh, in that version of Windows. And apparently, according to the report, uh, BitLocker is impacting random write and read times. And this means that the overall system performance then is reduced because obviously, um, when you are encrypting and decrypting files, there's a little bit of work, extra work going on behind the scenes. And that's where uh, this report is stating that that could be as much as 45% that reduction um, in performance when it comes to your SSD, your solid state drive. Now, I'm going to leave Tom's hardware report down below because if you want more in-depth information with all the tests and what um, uh, was going on, I'll leave that in the description so you can go check that out. But basically, in case you're unaware, um, there are two forms of BitLocker uh, encryption. You get a hardware and a software encryption. And um, the hardware encryption basically uh, means that your SSD is doing most of the of the work. And software encryption means alternatively that your device's processor, your CPU, is doing most of the work. Now, according to uh, the tests and the results of those tests, uh, the hardware encryption and no encryption got very similar results, but uh, the bigger impact was found with software encryption, where um, in the tests done with software encryption, it significantly impacted the performance of SSDs. So it seems that um, software encryption is having a bigger impact than uh, the um, hardware encryption. Now, as mentioned, go check out the report. It will give you a lot more info. But if you are wanting to know, first of all, if you have BitLocker enabled on your device, it's actually quite simple to do. And to do this, uh, we just head to our search and we just enter command to launch command prompt. But you right click and you must run it as admin, administrator. And then all you do is you enter this command, which by the way, I'll leave down below, both of these commands actually, I'll leave down below for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference because that's quite a mouthful. So you just enter that into command prompt, but remember you must run it as admin. And you hit enter and here you can see if you have a BitLocker encryption enabled or disabled. Now, as you can see, um, yeah, it gives me the size of my SSD and I have BitLocker version 2 and it says used space only encrypted, percentage encrypted, 100% of that. And here's an interesting one. If you see XTS-AES, that means that you have software encryption. If you don't see that, then you have hardware encryption. So just take note of that. And obviously, if you don't see any info here, um, you get a couple of blank fields, then obviously uh, BitLocker is not enabled on your system. And a software encryption, by the way, um, is enabled on Windows 11 Home that I'm running. As mentioned, the hardware encryption is enabled by default on Windows 11 Pro. But if you are running Windows 11 Home, you get software encryption as in this case. Now, to go one step further, if you want to actually disable uh, the BitLock encryption completely. Maybe you are more interested in performance than you are about um, security, then it is possible to disable. But just take note though that, that disabling encryption can leave the data unencrypted on your drive, which obviously could be a bit of a security issue. So to take this one step further, if you want to disable BitLock encryption, then we're going to enter the next command. As mentioned, both of these will be down below. So we're just going to copy and paste that in. And then all you do is you enter that into the field, you hit enter, and then obviously that will go through the process of disabling uh, BitLocker encryption. And if um, any prompts come up, just follow those prompts, and that will then disable BitLocker encryption completely on your system, thereby obviously giving you more performance. But obviously, as mentioned, it could leave you open with unencrypted and will actually unencrypt your files and obviously that could be a security issue but nonetheless just wanted to bring this uh, to your attention and I thought this was interesting 
And as mentioned, that report will be down below in the description. And that's, um, as mentioned, that report stated that BitLocker encryption could reduce the performance of SSDs by up to 45%. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.